so let me go to this firewall and let me show you the so let me show you the policy zero so this is my policy zero which is implicit deny policy so by default policy zero is implicit deny and uh, the traffic is denying by implicit deny okay deny by forward policy zero check policy zero so let me create one policy here so the uh, land to tenant tenant to land policy is also cre uh, already created so i believe we have to we have to check the tunnel configuration we have to check the tunnel configuration okay remote address 192.168.1.0 local 192.168.2.0 okay 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 so got it so we have created policy one policy which is allowing the traffic from land to tunnel and the other policy is tunnel to land if i'll go to the diagram and show you so we have created one policy which is allowing the traffic from land to tunnel okay land to tunnel land land to tunnel from here to here and from van to from uh, tunnel to land but we have not created any policy which uh, which would allow the traffic from tunnel to dmz and dmz to tunnel okay got it so we have to create one policy which should allow the traffic from land from tunnel to dmz okay so let's me go to the firewall let me go to the firewall create new and here i need to create one policy let me create the policy dmz to tunnel incoming interface will be dmz outgoing interface will be tunnel source all destination all service all i am disabling net here because we don't need net here log all session and we also need to create one reverse policy from tunnel to dmz now incoming interface will become tunnel outgoing will become your dmz interface source will be all destination will be all service will be all net disable log all session okay now let's me try to ping 10.1.10 i'm not still i'm still getting the ping timeout i'm still not able to ping 10.1.1.10 okay so let me ping the default gateway first 10.1.1 so i'm not able to ping 10.1.1.1 okay okay let's see uh, what could be the issue let me go to the cli again and run the command again diagonal sniffer packet any host one and two one sixty eight one dot ten ten dot one dot one dot one dot ten let me generate ping packet from here so now i'm not receiving the packet okay i need to uh, ping 10.1.1.10 because i have here i have entered 10.1.1.10 okay so i need to enter this ip address now i am getting the i am getting the logs here so you can see that uh, this is my source address this is my destination icmp echo icmp echo request reply so this is my uh, source and destination it's sending the reply so why i am not 
getting reply here okay so let me try to ping one more time okay let me debug one more time here diagnose debug flow filter source address 192.168.1.10 destination address 10.1.1.10 diagnose debug enable diagnose debug trace start flow trace start 10 Now let me ping from here. Okay, it is allowing by the policy 4, allowed by policy 4, 10.1.1. So this is by policy 4 and the traffic is allowing from DMZ to tunnel. But maybe this firewall is denying the traffic. Okay, so let me uh, go to this firewall office a firewall and check what could be the issue. So let me check from here. Diagonal default packet host. 192.168.1.10 and destination 10.1.1.10 and okay my bad diagnosis by packet any now let me ping one more time from here echo request this is not forwarding the traffic again Okay, diagnose debug flow filter here diagnose debug flow filter source 192.168.1.10 destination address 10.1.1.10 diagnose debug enable diagnose debug flow trace start 10 now let me ping from here now I am getting the logs allowed by policy 1 find a root let me copy this logs let me copy this logs Let's find a root IP tunnel send route to it network 68 So let me check if I have given the IP address to this uh, server or not because maybe uh, maybe the server is not having the IP address. Let me try to ping uh, this 10.1.1.10 server from firewall. Okay, from this firewall. So execute ping 10 because ideally it should uh, forward the traffic because policy and routing is okay. Okay, 10.1.10 is reachable from here. Let me go to this server. Okay, let me go to the firewall again and execute ping 192.168.1.10. Okay, this is not reachable from here. So let's check one more time. Let me check the route first 10.1.1.10. Via tunnel, routing is okay. Let me check the policy, firewall policy, tunnel to LAN and LAN to tunnel. Okay, source all, destination all. So, policy is also seems fine. Let me go to the IP set tunnel configuration.
local subnet and remote subnet okay so let me check these addresses local subnet and remote subnet policy addresses so this is my local subnet 192.168.1.0 it's okay okay and this is my remote subnet 10.1.1.0 and 192.168.2.0 so this is okay here let me go to this firewall and check all the configuration tunnel to LAN LAN to tunnel tunnel to DMZ DMZ to tunnel traffic is allowed let me go to the IPsec tunnel edit local address 192.168.2.0 okay see here I have not added the local address 10.1.1.0 Got it so in this firewall I have not added uh, this subnet 192.168.10.1.1.0 this subnet should be configured here as a local subnet so let me go to the policies address create one address here address 10.1.1.0 slash 24 10.1.1.0 slash 24 okay now I am creating one address group here giving the name local local subnets office B okay now I am adding the members here which is 10.1.1.0 and where is 192.168.2.0 so let me create one address here 192.168.2.0/24 192.168.2.0/24 okay so this is my local subnet got it click okay now let me try to ping and check if i am getting the reply or not ping 10.1.1.10 let me check if I am pinging from ok I have to ping from here from here from office A ok ok still I am not getting the reply still I am getting the request timeout so let me go to the CLI and run the command I'm not sure why I'm not getting the rip okay 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 I got it sorry my bad I have not oh, I have only added the address here but I also need to go to the tunnel IPsec tunnel edit and here I need to enter the name address local local subnet okay okay I need to create one remote address as well uh, so policy address create one address for remote subnets giving the remote subnet 192.168.2.0 slash 24 sorry 1.0 1.0 so this is my remote subnet 192.168.1.0 okay okay now let me go to the VPN IP set tunnel edit name address local subnet office B and remote subnet okay now let me click okay now let me try to ping hopefully it should ping now okay still not pinging now it's pinging oh thank you it's now pinging okay you can see that I'm getting the ping reply 10.1.1.10 so I'm not I'm uh, getting the ping uh, response here now so now the traffic is reachable from uh, site office A to office B server okay friends so that's it uh, thanks for watching this video